Alright, what's going on guys? It's Muzoid here. Today, since there's no HCF video out I can get to you, um, I'm going to be pretty much releasing my recording and render settings, uh, and also my streaming settings, because I use OBS now. So, pretty much before any of this starts, before I show you anything, I just want to give a huge shout out to Taipa. Um, he is the one that I got these render settings off of, and the recording settings, and they are pretty pretty good. So. If you uh, want to, be sure to sub to him. I'll try to remember to link his channel in the description. So uh, this is what we have here. This is the um, like the main thing uh, with OBS. You add a scene, add your game capture. All of this is that. So um, we can go to settings and we can start with um, output. So make sure it's on advanced and streaming. We're not going to do that right now. So we're going to go recording. Standard. Uh, you make the recording path wherever you want and this is the one part that I just have to comment about audio track one and two so I have those enabled and then I have right here I have my mic audio track one and my desktop audio track two and none of these are checked so if you want to have two audio tracks where your mic goes into one and your desktop audio goes into a different one so you can control the volumes of each be sure to do this if not just ignore this whole step of uh, checking one and two and all that so yeah after that uh, go to this encoder 1920 by 1080 bitrate is 80,000 make sure you have 80,000 um, rate control CBR preset default main auto so yeah all this but uh, be, know that these are 240 FPS recording settings so if you don't have a good computer these probably aren't going to work out well for you but um, I'll still show any one so once again desktop make sure it has your right audio device you don't want to mess up your audio recording and then my mic is my mic and video 1920 by 1080 1920 by 1080 this one is bilinear and then here you go to fractional fps value and you put 240 over one so that's a 240 fps recording and that's why people say that i have motion blur but i really don't it just i record in such a high fps and then i render in 60 that like it kind of has to compress the uh, fps that's been recorded and, and it kind of makes it into like a motion blur kind of pretty sure that's how it works at least uh there's that, and then advanced. I don't think I changed anything in here, so you guys can just copy this down. So uh, that is my um, recording settings, and then here I can switch over to my uh, streaming settings. These are my streaming ones, and then here I can also go to my my scene collection for streaming. Usually, what I have is I have my sub count, all that stuff. Um, so let's go to here, and pretty much. Uh, you, you set up your stream key to YouTube or whatever you're doing, get your stream key, you guys know how to do that. And then, uh, alpha mode advanced once again. And then, audio track 1, encoder XC64, bitrate 3.5k, CPU fast, all this. Audio, same thing. Video, I make it 720p, and then 60. But you guys can play around with that, you can do 1080, 30fps, but I like 60fps, so I, I downscaled it to 720 then no hockeys and then my advanced so uh, pretty much that's it for the um, recording and the streaming settings once, I, once again Taipa he's the one who had these so be sure to drop a sub to him or check his channel out down below um, I can show you guys about the scenes game capture I pretty much have it as capture specific window I choose uh, MC and then all that's checked uh, webcam I don't really use that in my videos Video capture device, um, that's something else. Window capture, that's like a monitor capture if I ever need it. And then yeah, so if you want to do the two audio tracks, be sure to have it like set up like this, one and two. And then make sure that audio uh, or in your recording you have one and two checked. So yeah, that's it for uh, my OBS recording and streaming settings. And now we can move on to uh, Vegas. Alright, so starting off with Vegas, I'm going to open it up. And what I would do is I import my, my clips. So all these clips are recorded like 240 FPS and stuff. So um, let's just take out this clip right here. So usually I let the, the peaks build because that makes it so I can like edit it faster. So um, my properties, this isn't like, these are my original properties from before. They're actually like the same thing other than one key thing. So frame rate 120, this is actually supposed to be 240, but if you type in 240 and you just apply, it goes back to 120. So this clip right here is recorded with the recording settings I showed you, and it is 240. So when you drag this in, 
it says this do you want to set your project video settings to matches media and you want to press yes now if we go to properties frame rate is 240 so that's like the really really critical thing you guys must do so before when you ever uh, are dragging in your clips make sure you press yes on this and it will change your uh, settings so that it, they are 240 then everything else is just this you can copy down uh, yeah all that for purposes I'm just gonna cut out the audio in case I play this so you'll see right here uh, it shows the FPS count and stuff uh, this is just me fighting Ziggy kind of giving him the wombo wombo dombo um, okay but uh, let's go into render and these are my old ones and then this is my uh, the ones that I got from typo once again so we can go to customize and you guys can see this here um, so it is 8.4 megabytes per second so that means that it is being edited off of this one right here when you press custom you're gonna press customize on the 8 megabytes per second HD 1080p 30 and this is where you're gonna change everything so um, once you press edit on that you're pretty much just gonna copy down these settings um, CBR Windows Media Video 9 custom 2560 by 1440 so that is also why my videos are 1440p and pixel aspect ratio 1 frame rate 60 5 3 100 bitrate 35 M best use product settings yeah so that's pretty much all of it is so what you do is you you find this one right here which is under Windows Media Video V11 and you're going to press customize and just copy down the settings I showed you right here all these ones and then yeah those are the renders I use and so yeah that's pretty much it um, hopefully your videos look as good as mine do when they rendered keep in mind when you upload them uh, or when you render them and then upload them it takes a while for the 1440p to process at least like 10 to 20 minutes depending on how long the video is like my let's plays they take like an hour to process probably um, so that the 1440p renders that's why I make it so uh, I schedule my uploads before um, they actually go up so the 1440p is ready for you guys as soon as the video goes live so yeah that's pretty much it I just want to thank you guys so much for the uh, all the support recently and pretty much just the amount of subs I've been getting per day is very good we're already at 21.5k which is uh we're going really fast right now which I just I'm thankful for yeah I guess I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video I'm sorry I couldn't get a let's play out today but hopefully uh I did see some of you guys ask for this, so hopefully this is good enough. Peace out.